You got to be stoic. That means you got to hold your emotion back for a moment. See with clear eyes. See what's really there. Don't overreact. Don't allow the emotion to overtake the logic. But the emotion is there for good reason. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, how can one unify emotions and logic so that they no longer cause disharmony in one's psyche? Well, it's interesting because there is an order. I really believe that there's an order by which we should allow ourselves to proceed. And that is spirit, logic, emotion, right? We got spirit, we got mind, we got emotion, right? And it's in that descending order, right? If human beings are antennas, we literally stand up and our brains are receivers for spiritual downloads, insight, uh, revelation, right? Even just being present to the moment in order to see what is so that we can choose is a spiritual act, right? It's a very human act. It's very uh, conscious. But from that state of noticing, right, consciousness, revelation, we then come to conclusions. We need to come to logical conclusions. I think logic is the order. I think the first thing we do is, before we react, is to pass it through our logical filter. And that means you got to be stoic. That means you got to hold your emotion back for a moment see with clear eyes, see what's really there. Don't overreact. Don't allow the emotion to overtake the logic. But the emotion is there for good reason. A lot of times the first reaction is, the first reaction in the body physiologically is emotion. It, 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 it comes, because it's so much more primal, the limbic system, it comes in before the logic, right? And you know, it's funny that I say this right now because to, to, to make a man, to, let me put it this way, a man is spirit, mind, emotion, but an animal, are, are the way we've come is limbic system, right? We have a triune brain, right? We have the, the lizard brain, right? The, the reptilian brain, right? The neo-reptilian brain and the human brain, right? The neocortex, the new brain, right? And so we have to work, even though we grow out of our root from that, right? We grow from the spine, from the brain stem, right? Which is emotional, is reactive, right? Or more reactive than emotional to the emotional brain, right? To the, uh, to the, to the, to the, the neo-mammalian brain and then to the logical brain, right? Mm -hmm. But then we have to operate from this way. So we grow this way, but we operate this way. We grow from the ground up, but we operate from the, from the, spirit down from the sky down and so we got to pass things through our logic but because we grow this way a lot of times the emotion comes first and so we have to be strong enough to temper the emotion with our logic but we also need the emotion to help fuel our logical decision right you make a logical decision then you rip off that emotional band-aid and you let all the blood flow. You see what I'm going? Like once I know the direction I'm going in, that's when I can rip it all off and go crazy with emotion. Like I'm an emotional dude. You know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? You know, that? You know that? Yo, Elliot's an emotional dude. I'm an emotional dude, but I have it under my logical control. Do you get that? You see the difference? I'm very emotional. Even I, I couldn't express myself with the charisma that I do if I was not an emotional guy. But you notice it's like, it's like a, an emotional person without logical control is like a three-year-old with a machine gun, right? You give a, a, give a um, AR-15 to a five-year-old kid, they're going to blow shit up and it's just going to be, it's going to be chaos. What we need to do is grow up as a person in that way we can put that AR-15 into the hands of a logical grown man. That's really what it is really what it is. So we need both. We need emotion. We need logic, but we need to put them in their right order, put them in their right place, see them for what they are, step back, be objective and make decisions from a cool, rational place rather than an emotional place. And don't get me wrong. I've done a whole lot of emotional things. I made a whole lot of decisions from an emotional state and they never work out well. 
Never work out. Don't make, emo don't make decisions from emotional places. If you're feeling emotional about what you're going to do, and it could be, this is another one, like when it comes to making decisions, a lot of times we want to feel something. I want to feel excited about this thing. When you're excited about a thing, it's like, wow, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm going to go do this. Again, that's not a good place to start from. Just like, oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm going to go and tear his head off. That's not a good place to proceed. Excitement is not a good place to proceed from. Don't be so excited when you make a decision. You got to be less excited. You got to be a little bit more grounded, a little bit more cool, a little bit more logical. Don't make, it, don't make decisions because you're elated about the thing. Don't, don't make decisions when you're in love, right? Most of the time when we're in love, we're in lust and we're in an emotional state. Lust is an emotional state because you feel it in your body. All emotion is felt in the body. That's why it's called emotion, right? What is an emotion? Motion. Motion. Motion happens in the body. Motion doesn't really happen in the mind. The mind is, the mind is flat. The mind is motionless, stoic, right? But the emotions are moving, right? So when you feel a movement in your body, know that it's coming from your base. It's coming from our lower instinct. It's coming from our, it's coming from our lower brain, right? Like I talked about the reptilian brain, the neo-reptilian, or the mammalian brain and the neo-mammalian brain, right? I think I'm saying it right. Reptilian, mammalian, neo-mammalian. That's what it is. So a lot of times we're operating from our reptilian brain, right? Whoa, feeling angry, feeling good, feeling sad, feeling sex. You're operating from your reptilian brain. Do not operate from the reptilian brain. Let the reptilian brain do what it does best, but then you have to step back. And you got to look at it logically with your human brain, with your neo-mammalian brain, with your new man brain, bro. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.